Good morning everyone, welcome to Yorkshire Gamer and um, one of my every now and again uh, YouTube videos um, on the latest blog post and this is a review of my early war um, Italians for the desert. Um, our games um, go up to the end of 1941 um, so it's an Italian army that fits into that early period of Op Compass um, going up um, to the late 41 when the Germans turn up uh, and things get a little bit even. So um, the army's laid out in front of you. Um, looks quite impressive actually and um, I've just finished off uh, a number of uh, armoured vehicles um, to complete all the models that I have in my possession and um, although uh, I'll mock myself in a couple of months time for saying this but I think this army's finished um, at the moment I can't see any things that I'd like to add to it um, but you, <laughs> you know what those gamers are like sooner rather than later we will find something that uh, takes our eye so I'm going to um, just have a quick whiz through at um, closer range and uh, have a look at some of the various units that are contained within this army so camera has uh, focused in here on uh, the infantry. I'll go through the infantry first. And I've got three basic types of infantry uh, in the army. And the first one uh, we're zoomed into here is the Bersaglieri. Apologies to any Italians if that's uh, rubbish pronunciation. It usually is from me. And um, these figures um, never really planned. Um, I picked up a pack from Warlord Games at one of the local shows, uh, Recon, um, a few years back now, um, purely because there wasn't anything else to buy at the show, so uh, I need to come home with something to uh, satisfy the gamer guilt. Uh, so I picked up um, a box set of Bursaglieri, which if I remember correctly comes with um, a squad of uh, 10, um, a light mortar and uh, some command people if I remember correctly and I, I've added a little bit to that over the years but not uh, drastically um, it's a fairly small part of uh, the overall infantry force but just there um, just for something a little bit different um, so uh, let's move on to the next unit okay so the next type of infantry that um, I've done is uh, these guys and these are known as the Giovanni Fascisti and um, they were a unit that was recruited from uh, if I remember correctly from various universities um, in, in Italy um, to go to war and they were quite famous for their black stocking caps and I've done the entire unit on uh, that um, I think it was Bire Kabil or something similar that they were famed and they were quite uh, hard fighters uh, and uh, were praised very much for their defence of that particular area. Um, these um, models, uh, I wouldn't look too closely, um, they are uh, based on the Africor figures from Perry Miniatures, um, the plastic box set. And rather than do them up as Africor, I have um, done a very, very uh, basic conversion and used the stocking cap heads from the uh, Perry's ACW Zouave set um, to uh, make these, I would suggest, fairly unique figures. Um, the webbing isn't exactly correct, the weapons aren't exactly correct, and um, you could pick them to pieces but it's uh, a gaming conversion a table conversion for something that I wanted to have and I quite like them um, so uh, the sister the the figures that come in the boxes work, work fairly well um, you can't see any of the machine guns there but I've had I've done a bit of a conversion with the um, German MG uh, just to stick the magazine on the side rather than have the drum magazine um, and that's kind of it really so that's a, a nice little interesting uh, side unit uh, for the army and then on to the main body of uh, in inverted commas normal italian infantry uh, these are all perries uh, they're all metal um, and were the first units that i got uh, when we started the desert project 
uh, cough cough it was um, going to be a, a box of plastic infantry and a couple of tanks and as you can see it kind of got out of hand uh, so uh, the uh, the Italian infantry the basic infantry um, I think I've got um, the equivalent of a battalion in our um, rules which is approximately one to four um, figures there's um, four companies there um, in various ways a lot of the troops are lying down and they're um, in various locations throughout uh, the the setup uh, rather than with their individual units because it didn't quite set out right so that's the basic infantry uh, i'm going to have a look at some of the support weapons now Okay, looking down now at a selection of the support weapons that I've built up for the infantry. Um, just at the bottom left, just kind of half out of shot, is a, a mortar. Um, actually, I thought I had uh, more than one of those, so there's a potential uh, new purchase already that I've just discovered having laid them all out. Um, then towards the camera at this end, we've got a couple of 20mm anti-tank rifles, the Solitrum or similar and um, they actually proved quite useful in battle, uh, a decent bit of kit. Uh, and then we've got three 47mm uh, anti-tank guns, um, shieldless, which is interesting, uh, interesting design. And behind those we have a couple of um, three-man heavy machine guns, uh, one in for the basic infantry and one for the Bersaglieri. And uh, then looking in the background from there, um, we've got our three artillery pieces, uh, two 75mm artillery pieces which were Perry miniatures, um, come with a crew and then in the background you can probably just see, um, I'll just refocus in onto that uh, there, um, is a, a 100mm gun which is uh, from Warlord Games. Um, the figures for that are more um, Eastern Front but I've just painted them up in the sand colour of the desert and that will do for me so that's everything um, on foot let's have a look at some of the motorized stuff uh, transport first and um, some of my favorite models in the army are the uh, motorcycle uh, bersaglieri unit um, 10 figures um, uh, from dog tag miniatures and if you go back on the Yorkshire Gamer website, you'll find a review of these lovely miniatures. Made out of resin uh, from Dog Tag. Um, fantastic purchase and a necessity for, for any Desert Army, I would said, say, a motorbike unit. Um, and then we also have, we can see a, uh, just needs to darken the picture a little bit there. Sunshine, would you believe, in Yorkshire in March. What's the world coming to? Um, so the staff car. Uh, from Perry's uh, with a couple of uh, senior officers there. Uh, one of our favourite units in our games because of that staff car, um, typical Italian sports car, will do 44 inches in a turn flat out, uh, which just tends to have it running off the pitch, or, uh, running off the table on a, a minimum of turn two. In the background uh, behind the staff car, you'll see a number of trucks. Now, these are a bit of a uh, um, fudge, I think is probably the best word. I've not been able to find a decent source of Italian trucks for the desert, so I have improvised. And what I have used, I'll bring one closer to the camera, are these guys. And, um, oh, I do apologise. So, what we have is, if you can see underneath there, it is a Days Gone By uh, Fordson. Now, the reason I've chosen these Fordsons is this front grille. Um, it's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but it looks like a Fiat 626 lorry uh, truck, whatever you want to call them. Um, and I've gone for it. It's got an Italian look about it. It isn't Italian. So I buy these off uh, eBay, and uh, you can get them for as little as a pound a piece. Um, spray them up, paint them, weather them a little bit and stick a, um, a, a sign, divisional sign of the Ariat division on the door um, and for me they do the job. They're a little bit small uh, for the um, size of the 
units, uh, sorry, the size of the figures, but um, I quite like them. And there's a cheap alternative. That lot back there has probably cost me 20 quid tops for seven trucks. Uh, and if you bought them, if you could find an Italian lorry in 28 mil, you'd be looking at 20 quid a pop. So that's 140 quid. Uh, so I, in true Yorkshire style, have saved 120 quid. That'll do nicely. Let's move on to something with some, in inverted commas, armour. So the first uh, unit of armour, and again in inverted commas, that I'm going to look at here is uh, these guys. Um, this are uh, the tankettes. Um, I've got seven tankettes, which is enough for anyone. And um, five of the tankettes, well, six of the tankettes, uh, the ones to the left, to the left um, are the ones that aren't base are from Perry's Miniatures um, they come as a metal kit something like three or four pieces in it with a couple of crew um, and very nice very nice models um, it's amazing when you put them up against a, an inverted commas real tank and you see how small they are um, I've stood next to one in the tank museum and I can't believe that two people could get in it Certainly they would have to um, cut out the pasta and red wine for a couple of weeks before they could get in. Um, the ones that I've got there, I've got five armed with twin machine guns and one armed with a 20mm anti-tank gun. Um, it's an The 20mm anti-tank gun is an advantage in some ways, um, in that it allows you to uh, penetrate other targets. The disadvantage is that everyone shoots at it because it's the only thing that can damage the British. Uh, so <laughs> that one very rarely survives a battle. And then to the right uh, on the base um, is a flamethrower version which I've not used in the game yet and that comes from Empress Miniatures um, from their, I think it might be from their Spanish Civil War Italian range um, but um, very nice model and uh, a useful addition to the army. So let's move up, uh, I'm not going to turn the camera off this time, I'm just going to move the camera, let's hope that this will go okay. Okay. There we go, and we're going to look at uh, four vehicles here. Um, we've got the two armoured cars. If I remember correctly, they're AB41 um, armoured cars. Um, sort of used towards the late end of our period, um, and I've used them in a couple of games. They're fairly useful, quick, 20mm uh, gun, 20mm auto cannon, um, which is always useful. Um, in a sort of skirmish recce game, uh, so very uh, very handy additions to our army. Not been on the table for a while, just haven't fitted in into any of our scenarios, uh, but they're there as backup if required. And then behind them we've got two Semaventis, uh, 75mm self-propelled guns. They, uh, a bit cheeky really, they, they arrived in... Um, North Africa in I think it was December 1941 way um, and then didn't fight until mid 42 I don't think um, so a bit cheeky but they do just fit into our criteria of having been in the theatre um, in 41 so again they've not been on the table yet uh, I don't think um, so let's move on to the beast and again I'll just uh, Zoom in, there we go. So, this vehicle um, is from a company called Company B. Now, I'm not, oh, I do apologise for the hand. Um, I'm not sure whether these guys are still running or not. There was a guy, um, Bob O'Connor, uh, used to have a company, um, War Games Post, I think it was, um, that used to bring them into the country. Um, and he stopped doing them now, which is a real shame because they're great, great miniatures. Slightly bigger than the um, Perry stuff, uh, probably on a, a par with Warlord games. So they're like a true 28 rather than a 156 scale, which the Perry's are. And um, this model's great, it really is. It's a 90mm uh, Italian anti tank gun. Uh, mounted on the back of an Italian lorry, and it's got three um, three crew. Uh, in fact, it's got four crew, but I've only put three on. Um, it's lovely. It's got all the um, hydraulic mounts on the side of the truck to uh, stabilise it when it's firing. Um, it looks the absolute business. I've never used it in a game. Um, the range on it means I would have to set it up in the churchyard outside, probably a couple of hundred metres away, to get it to proper range. 
those of you who aren't familiar with it, it was um, similar, obviously 90mm to the 88 German uh, gun and uh, they found it was fairly useful for knocking out tanks at long range. Um, so there we go, there's uh, uh, an unusual one for, certainly for this scale anyway, uh, is a 90mm uh, Italian gun on the back of a truck. So let's have a look at the mainstay of the tanks now. Uh, first up, just uh, a, a one-off vehicle. Um, this is the 47mm um, anti -tank, uh, Italian anti-tank destroyer um, based on the L6 light tank chassis. Um, it was bought uh, for me as a present by a friend. Very nice. Uh, thanks, Andy. Cheers, mate. And um, it's not really... I think it didn't come into service until 42, maybe 43 even. Um, and it wasn't particularly... Uh, uh, useful then um, but uh, it, it's a it's a lovely lovely model um, from uh, Perry's uh, with a couple of cracking crew figures so I'm, I'm glad that it's in my army and it may get used one day uh, but it just falls outside the scope of our um, battles at the moment so before we go on to the super tanks of the Italians we'll look at the earliest tank um, that we have the here um, and this is a pro I would say this is the first proper tank I can only um, consider the um, tankettes as that um, these are the M1139 uh, Italian tanks and they are slightly unusual configuration probably similar to the M3 Grant tank that came later on um, in that they have a turret that has um, twin uh, machine guns and a, um, a, a gun, for, uh, I think it was 37, somebody will correct me I'm sure, 37 mil gun in the, um, in the hull um, on a pivot mount, um, which kind of restricts its ability to fire more than um, know, probably 20 degrees either side of um, straight. Um, so it was... Uh, uh, Pre-war design, designed for fighting in uh, colonial wars, not really for a stand-up shoot tank battle, and uh, they've uh, proved to be um, quite brittle in some of our games. But it's nice to have them. Um, I had a discussion on um, one of the websites recently by some bolt action player or some um, guys who just. Points, 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 points. Why have you bought that? It's not very good. Well, this is the weapons that those troops had at that time, so these are the weapons that I'm using. Um, I go purely for your, um, historical scenarios rather than points based, which I just think is it's a farce. Anyway, uh, rant over. So we've got six of the Blitzkrieg Miniatures 156 scale stuff there, um, flushed out with some. Um, Crew miniature, uh, sorry, uh, some miniatures uh, from Perry's as uh, crew commanders, and then I'm just going to zoom out here, and uh, I'm just going to pause the video just for one second, and uh, then we'll come back and have a look at these because I've got a seventh one of these from Company B. So just an interesting little shot there of um, two vehicles um, from different companies, the same. M1139. Um, the one on the left is Blitzkrieg 156 scale with Perry's miniatures uh, commander and the one on the right is Company B um, which as I've mentioned before are probably True 28 so uh, very similar to the Warlord games and if you just look at the difference in size between the two for me I can see that that's quite substantial um, there's probably four or five mil difference and then if you look down the model again oh, you can't really see it on that angle there so I'll just see you can see there the overlap uh, of maybe two three mil it's not a massive a lot but in terms of volume it's quite big um, so they don't really fit together um, to game together I've only got one of the company B models and they are so hard to get hold of so I'm not getting rid of it so there we go, and uh, we've just got one more unit to look at, uh, so I'll just change the camera position again. So here we have the 
the decent Italian tank. To be fair, up against the early British cruisers, uh, the A9s, 10s, 13s, um, it's not a, it's not a bad uh, match. It's fairly good. Um, once you start getting into um, Crusaders and Honeys when they start to arrive uh, and the German stuff obviously um, it starts to become less effective but it's a decent tank especially for the Italians um, the M1340 uh, um, it's gone from the side mounted gun to a 47mm gun in a main turret and the two machine guns are now pintle mounted on the on the Sorry, not pintle mounted. They're mounted in the hull itself. Um, got a full battalion um, of these for our rules. So that's one command tank, which is the guy here with the uh, with waving the flag, and um, we've got um, three companies of three tanks each. Um, for the the remainder of the unit so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten uh ten of those should be able to work that out shouldn't i it's early in the morning that's my excuse um so there we go that's um a review of um my italian 28 mil um army and uh, i hope you've enjoyed that and uh, thanks again for watching the arch tv